All right, so today we are at Fresno Chaffee Zoo and we're gonna finally get to check out the kingdoms of Asia. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do this. Are you ready, mom? <laughs> Time for kingdoms of Asia. So this is inspired by the temples at Angkor Wat. And here we go, through the mist. Love it. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, I love it. This is pretty amazing, pretty amazing. So is this where the tiger is? Just getting some rest in the shade over there. That's what cats do. Popular guy. But he does have a nice little stream here to play in. <laughs> now for the tiger, they have this little uh, walkway. I'm not sure if it's always open or not, but they can walk up there. You can get a nice view from down below. And check out the detail. The detail here is just amazing. Look at that. Wow. Is that uh, Medusa? I have no idea. I'll have to look that one up. What's over here? Oh, a different one. Now it looks like the tigers have a little bath over here. A little swim area. I'm not using right now. I remember when the tiger would have this little tiny cage and just pace back and forth all day. So this is very cool that he's got a lot of a lot of area to roam in. Now this looks to be the Sundal Malaysian alligator. That's good. You see the bear? You see the bear? But I don't see him. Oh, there's Ashton and there's Tori. Give them their donut home. I don't see him yet. Ashton and Leo. Try another angle, we'll come back for him. There's another little viewing area for that. Oh, but I do see a turtle right there. There's a big old turtle sitting there. Bears and otters at play. I am excited to see the new sloth bear exhibit. It has a lot of room to run around in, I hear, which is nice too. There's another one that had just a little, little tiny cage in the old part of the zoo. It's got a nice big area. Kind of watching the otters play a little bit in the water. Let me get a whole another view here. Wow. Here's a continuation of that tiger. Tiger cage. Look at the elephant uh, statues. I love the detail. It's amazing detail. Oh, I 
can see the sloth bear, but he's kind of hiding behind the rocks over there. Kind of being shy. Oh, oh, there he is. Here he comes. There he is. Oh, wow. He's, he looks like Julie. That's why we call Julie a bear. Sorry. I like bears. Look at that. Lala. He's checking us out as we're checking him out. <laughs> wow, look at the big, beautiful area he has now. That is amazing. Fluffy, fluffy baby. You see him? You want to go check on the other one? Oh, say hi. He's going to climb the rock. See this lot there? Hey, look at me. He, wants to, say, he wants to say hi. Lila, can you look at mommy and your cheese? Lila. Oh, here he comes. That's why I call Julia a bear. Yeah, look at her. It's Julie. Yeah. Wow. I'm done. Hey. <laughs> He's just standing up checking it all out. I mean it is amazing. Look at this huge area he has now. That is gorgeous. Stretching it out. Look at him. Wow. That is nice. Oh, we got a tiger. We got a tiger sighting. I don't blame him, he's over there in the shade now. <laughs> Trying to get some shade, I don't blame him. <laughs> Got a nice little viewing area here for the tiger. Oh, there he is. I see you. Come on, Lara, where are you going? What do we got here? We got orangutans, Komodo dragons coming up. Oh, they also have a nice little long back marketplace, nice little cafe here. Get something to eat. I don't think it's open yet. Maybe it's too early. Nice little viewing area over here for the sloth bear. As one thing I'll say that is really neat about this addition is that they have a lot of viewing areas to see the animals. They really did a great job on the design of this. All right, so now we're gonna head and check out the orangutans. See what that looks like. I mean, the area looks basically the same, but they did do a lot of remodeling here from what the old viewing area looked like. As you can see, they got the downstairs viewing area. Go in here and check it out. No, come here, come here. Orangutan poop. There it is. 
Yeah, I follow. Well, come here. Hey, Joanne. Way over there, yeah, hanging out. Oh I can't remember if this was uh, that tree was there before in the old original rain tank exhibit, but could have been, might have been, probably was. I don't know. It's been so long since I've seen it, I can't remember. But check this out. have this neat little walkway now going up to the top part of the uh, exhibit for the orangutans. Wow, look at this view. Wow, this is amazing. Get a bird's eye view up here at the zoo we've never seen. I got so wrapped up in looking at these exhibits, I have lost the two thirds of our generic life. I don't know where they're at. I gotta go find them. So I'll see if I can go find them, see what they think about this experience. I think it's amazing. It's, they did a great job in design. It looks like they got a couple more, a couple more goodies coming in here once they get this done. This is, must be the old uh, Nosy the Elephant exhibit, I think, that they're repurposing. It has to be, it has to be. Which is kind of good to see. I like seeing that, just the old exhibit. I like the way it was built and the viewing area from up here. So if this is the old exhibit, just kind of repurposed and uh, remodeled, that's a great idea, I like it. Now, the other thing too, uh, I just found out I didn't know um, a couple of things. One, the uh, zoo staff was just telling telling me that they actually have warmers in certain parts of the park, uh, of the zoo, I should say, like that big uh, pride rock where the lions are, there are warmers in there to keep them warm during the winter time. So if they're sitting in a certain spot, that's probably why. So they probably strategically put those there. And they also, in that uh, orangutan exhibit, in that tree that they had built right in front, they also have warmers inside that tree. So it brings the orangutan there, especially when it's colder, where they can sit down and get some warmth and hopefully be right in front of us to view right there on that big tree. That's why they put it there in front. If people are wondering, well, it's kind of blocking my view, that big old tree, why did they stick that there? Well, that's part of the reason. Plus they also have little holes in that tree where snacks can be uh, fed to the orangutans. 
So they'll also come up in front of that window and, and try to get the snacks out of the trees. Very cool. I mean, they did. <laughs> they know what they're doing here, that's for sure. All right, what do we got here? Komodo dragon. He's definitely got a nicer space here than he had in the reptile exhibit. That is definitely a plus. Like there's another viewing area over here on the other side of this exhibit. Here's another view of the dragon. He's just hanging out. Can't see much of him. I got a couple of nice viewing areas though. For this guy, nice, nice area for him to roam around, walk around. Kind of see his tracks where he's been walking around, checking things out. All right, so here we are walking out of the exhibit. This is how you used to get into the old part of the zoo here. They had the tiger and the elephant. Well, essentially, and then the rhino. So you can either enter from here or enter from the other side. Oh, we got some tracks. Now, if you're walking from that front entrance right by the, uh, the, the gate, and you just run into the Komodo dragons. Well, they did change these paths quite a bit. All right. Got your restrooms there if you need them. Souvenir shop. I will say the souvenirs look pretty much, um, pretty much the normal stuff the zoo has. Oh, we finally get a menu up here. Let's see what the menu says. All right, so this is what you get here: the Kingdoms of Asia Cafe. So yes, everyone, don't worry. I found, I found the other two thirds of. Our generic life, safe and sound in the kingdoms of Asia. I do like the misters here. The other thing I like about what they've done here too is all the seating area. And just sit down, view the... You the tigers at play. I love how they put this uh, tree root over the walkway with the misters, genius. <laughs> Especially in the summer, it's gonna be so nice. Oh. Even on the top, just the theming's amazing. The detail, the detail they put into it. Wow. Oh yes. Beautiful. Ah, oh, keep me cool. Here's the other side of that tree root. That tree trunk, I love that. I love that. It's all throughout. It's little songbirds. I didn't even see those coming in. I do like 
Welcome to Kingdoms of Asia. Nice. Here's all the little songbirds. It's really nice how they left the red carpet here as you enter. Oh, this is nice. Animals are deeply connected to Southeast Asian culture. All right, I had to get a wide angle on that. So you can see it, the bear. Great protector, legendary king of the birds. Garuda, Garuda, is that how you say the name? Naga, the sea serpent. And then back to the turtle. Just trying to give you some other views here. All right, now today's highlight was the kingdoms of Asia, obviously, but we're gonna go check out the uh, tropical bird forest, see if that's open. Should be open now. They did have it closed a while because of the bird flu, and then it was open very limited times. But I think they have it open full time now, so we're gonna go check that out, we'll see. Now, even though we did miss the Malaysian alligator, we can actually go see our favorite, the American alligator, in the back corner. The poor guy that's always forgotten about. In the very back side of the zoo here. All right, we'll get a better view of him over here on this side. There he is, look at that guy. Looks like he's sleeping. His eyes are closed. He's hanging out getting some sun. I'm gonna have to look him up and see. I I wonder how old he is. All right, looks like it is open, so we are in luck. Okay, show us the way. Where do we go? Oh, look at these birds over here. These are macaws. Macaw. Uh oh, getting wet. Watch out. I'm not waterproof. Woo. Oh, that feels good, actually. I like it. Oh, I hear the music from Playland. You hear the music? You have to go up there? We gotta go way up there. Maybe we can see Playland from here. train pass oh yeah all right oh, I can see. oh we can see a corner of playland I can hear it to go see go see it down there huh okay it's like it's eaten down there this is the best view guess what we're gonna get wet again we're gonna get wet again yeah all right let's do it this is the best view up here all right let's go check it out over here hi Oh, look at the tracks. What are the tracks of these? Oh, there's that waterfall we just went through. Boy, that is fun.
They must have fixed that. I don't remember that being uh, going last time we came through. No, it wasn't. I don't remember getting my shoes wet. So. There's that viewing area yeah, again. The water flows down there. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. The bridge is right above. Above the water. It's a little stream, huh? It comes all the way down. I don't see a lot of birds out though. Like in the past, I know there are things filled with birds, so. I don't see a lot of the tropical birds out. Oh, here's one right here. Look at these guys. I miss these guys. Look. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we're starting to see him. There he is. There he is. Yeah, those are pretty. Oh, so they've got the little... We used to walk in that room and it was really warm and that's where they had a lot of tropical birds in there. Those are pretty though. They have, I don't know what those are. Here we go. This spoonbill. This one is a scarlet ibis. Ibis. And this one is a rose. Rosette. Is that rosette? How you say it? Rosette spoonbill. Yeah. There's more. Oh yeah, I see them. Yeah. That's a good shot right there. That's a good shot. What are they doing over there? Oh, it walked outside. We missed it. It's out. Look. Yeah, he's walked out. I see him through the trees. Oh, he's gone. A spoonbill. He's out. All right. That's a nice shot right there. Tropical rainforest. Fresno Zoo. All right, so a quick. Ooh, that was close. All right. Can you see how this is a stupid hill to stand on? All right. Let me get away here. All right, so little pro tip here when you come to the zoo now. They've changed their system a little bit. If you are a zoo member, they should have emailed you, but they have electronic membership cards now. So if you bring in your physical membership card, they don't want to use that anymore to scan in. You have to actually put it on your phone and use a digital membership card that they scan to get you in. So just to save you some time, make sure you do that before you come to the zoo, get your digital card, put it on your phone, have it ready to go. All right, so this completes our day at the zoo for today. Uh, we finally checked out Kingdoms of Asia, and uh, like we said before, it, they really did a great job. The theming is amazing. They did the most they could with the space to give the animals plenty of room to run around. Also, um, for us, to have plenty of room to kind of really see the animals. A lot of viewing areas. So, I think, yeah, I think they, they knocked it out of the park with this one. They did a great job. So, come check it out. Fresno Chaffee Zoo. Our website is fresnochaffeezoo.org and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. Well, they do have strollers here, I assume to rent. You need a stroller, they got single, tandem. Nice. A bird pooped on you. I don't see any bird poop on you. <laughs> well, that's a bonus from the zoo then. They're not even gonna charge you for that. You got a bonus. Okay, Dad. Um, bonus experience from the zoo, bird poop. Let's go. Okay, go. Don't get I'm me stuck. Gonna, I'm gonna get the other one. Don't get me stuck. I'm gonna get the other one. All right. Here we go. Favorite part. Hurry up, sweetheart. You got people coming out. <laughs> there she comes. All right. She made it. She made it. So just remember, if you get. 
pooped on at the zoo. That's a bonus experience. They don't charge you for that. And you can take that home with you.